Uh, here we are again with the spectacular and hysterical Kawasaki KE100. Little two stroke, but I have a fuel leak from this tank. It's toward the back and I've really got to clean this thing out and see if I can seal it maybe from the inside. And I tried this once before, but once again, we're going to try electrolysis, some basic chemistry, also known as magic, this time on bike physics. It was cold outside, so when I brought it in, it started fizzing and bubbling. Pressure differential. Here's my tank. It's a two and a half gallon capacity, approximately. It's got a little dent in it from oh so long ago. This thing's from 1990. And the leak is from down here at the very bottom at, that, uh, at, the, at the saddle. And looks like it was repaired and maybe smacked a long time ago. And you can see the paint coming off where I think the gasoline's coming out. And it looks like that strap was repaired at some point with the flame. Pull off the petcock, do some basic washing of the fuel out. Simple green, stuff's great. Let it sit for a while to soak and then use these tools to clean up the backside where the leak is and it ended up looking like this and it looks like the, that strap was brazed back on after it got smacked with something. Maybe somebody had the tank off and dropped it and also did that little divot right there and I think that's where the leak is. It's a tiny little pinhole but it leaks right on the exhaust pipe. Not super safe. Clean that thing up. And then I looked at the inside of the tank and I realized, oh, somebody tried to seal this thing up with some really crappy sealant like 25 years ago. It's covered with caulk or something. There's some thick pieces in there, stuff hanging off the inside, so that has to be cleaned out too. I made a block off plate and attachment point for the one electrode at the bottom. Drilled a couple of holes, put that thing in there. It doesn't matter if it leaks a little bit, it's just gonna be on for a few hours. And this is what the setup looks like. Put it up on blocks so that I have access to the underside of the tank and can take one of those electrodes and attach to the extension from that block off plate. Put a whole bunch of salt. Other people use other things, but you need some kind of electrolyte in there. A lot of salt in the gas tank and a battery charger. 12 volts, two amps I started out with. There is my electrode, the sacrificial anode. Big piece of steel. The coating taken off and wrapped at the top and the bottom where it's going to touch metal so that there isn't a short because that would cause some welding and that wouldn't be so good. It started out with a 12 volt 2 amps but then turned it up. You can see the negative electrode is attached to the tank and the positive electrode is the sacrificial anode. And I let it sit there for about a half an hour and then I turned it off and looked at it. Then I let it sit there for another half hour and then probably a total of about three hours and this is what I got. Be careful, make sure you don't short it out. So it's supposed to pull rust off the tank and deposit on the anode. And look at that thing. That thing is actually coated with some new metallic deposit. There is a lot of bubbling that goes on and if you fill it all the way up to the top, eventually those bubbles do get bigger and thicker and it will run over the top and get everything nasty dirty, so don't let that happen. This is what the water looks like when you pull it out. That's good because that's all the garbage inside the tank that's getting cleaned up. This was the first part of the old sealer that I pulled out. Oh, <laughs> this stuff is nasty. But I made a bunch of hooks and little tools from spokes. A little hook like that, a little tiny little hook to, uh, to grab hold of the pieces inside that were already set loose by the electrolysis. And started pulling pieces out. I mean, look at this pile of garbage. Some of these pieces are really thick. Some of the pieces are really thin. It wasn't really well done. And it definitely didn't seal at the point where it really needed to. This is a view with most of the sealant removed. It looks a whole lot better, and that will flash rust quite quickly if you leave any kind of water in there, which it did. Not a big deal. Got to clean that thing out so that it can be resealed or sealed from the outside. And this is what it looked like when it got mostly dried and most of the sealant out. It's not bad. Then you can take off that block plate and use a simple hair dryer to dry out the inside. 
Once it was really clean inside and out, no fuel vapors or anything, I tried to solder it, but it, it the solder didn't go where I wanted it to. Build up a couple little pools, but did not seal it properly. I did, in the process, find my socket I was missing because my two-year-old put it in there. And I ended up using this JB Weld tank repair. Hope that'll work. Looks pretty good, solidifies up really well. So electrolysis and my little hooks cleaned out the tank. And outside the tank, I used that JB Weld. It is sealed. Let's hope it stays that way. Thanks for watching Bike Physics. For all the bicycles and motorcycles and family adventures. And thanks for that thumbs up too. Really helps a lot. New videos most Tuesdays. Subscribe for more. And you haven't figured it out yet. I got this other channel called Learn Physics. It's all about physics and education and that kind of thing. So check that out too.